Grand Rising Kings and welcome back to the latest and greatest of the BMCMC, the Black Man Can Men's Channel. Thank you as always for joining us brothers. Today I am going to chop it up about a video that if you have not been under a rock, you are aware about. This is about a brother who went to give McDonald's or some kind of lunch to his own son or daughter who was biologically his. That was with a woman who had multiple children that were by different men. Whenever he arrived, the woman had an issue with the fact that he had only brought food for his child and not food for all of her other children that were not his. Now I'm gonna let y'all see the video just for the few people on earth that haven't seen the video. I'm gonna give you a little clip and we are gonna chop it up on the other side and I'm gonna talk to y'all about my view about this situation and what we as black men need to do to avoid these kind of situations and if we are in them, how to deal with these kind of situations. So without further ado, we're gonna hop right on into it. Check it out. I'll talk with you on the other side. Well, there you have it, brothers. Let me preface first by saying that all women do not operate or think like this insane woman you saw in the video. However, brothers, it is on you to have higher standards for yourself. And if you are out here planting seeds in bad soil, then I have no uh, empathy for you. I have sympathy for you because I can only imagine the hell this man is going to be dealing with for the eternity he has dealing with this woman. But I have no true empathy for you. We as black men, we as men in general need to be more conscious of who we are sleeping with. And now with the new abortion laws that are coming into place, you have no out whatsoever. Once the seed leaves the body, it is now controlled by the soil. And if you're dealing with a woman who has had multiple partners and has babies by multiple men, then that is a reflection on what kind of mindset that woman has. That's no judgment on that woman, but that lets you know that one of two things have happened here. Either A, she has had a child with a man that had no interest in being with her, or she had a child with a man that she had no interest in being with, or both. Each situation looks bad on that woman. So you should, as a man, be able to discern the difference and see that as a serious red flag. We as black men have to understand that you are accountable for your actions. And when you plant seeds in bad soil, these are the kind of scenarios that you end up in. But I want to say that that is not all black women is not a reflection of all women. And we need to stop with this uh, glorifying of this kind of behavior. Because I can tell you one thing long time ago, 60s, 70s, 80s, it was unheard of for you to have a child without a man that you are at least coupled up with. Whether you're married or not, you're at least in some kind of structured situation where you and the man are trying to raise this child together. Now we are in a totally different society where women are applauded for taking on the challenge of raising a child by themselves. And I do applaud the mothers that do their best job. There are great single mothers all over the world. But the fact of the matter is a child needs both parents in their lives. OK, and if we're dealing from a, a logical standpoint, you have to let the man play a role. OK, so that's my first point I want to make about the situation that we're seeing here. Another point I think about with this man, when you're dealing with situations like this, this is the reddest of red flags when dealing with another woman or even a man. If a person has multiple children by multiple men, you have to understand that there's a possibility that if you have a child with this person, you're just gonna be another man on the list and you're gonna be dealing with the same trauma and stress that these other men are dealing with. Moreover than that, where are these other fathers to give their child something to eat? It is not this man's responsibility to provide for children that is not biologically his. But I tell y'all brothers, if you enter into a relationship with somebody that has children, you by de facto have to take a responsibility for the lives of those other children. That's just how it's going to be. You are taking on that responsibility. And I give great kudos. There is great valor in men being stepfathers. These children need a male figure in their lives. But there is one caveat to that. Whenever the things hit the fan, you have to understand as a man, you do not have any control over a child that is not biologically yours. I don't care how much toys you buy them, where you take them on trips, how much you provide. If the woman and you do not work out, you have no access to that child. 
The second part of that is you cannot discipline that child. There's always going to be some kind of tension between you and the woman you're dealing with. I know most of the men out here, they are with a woman that has a child, myself included. You try to be hands off because you know that at the end of the day, because it's not your child, your power is limited. But as men, we need to be aware of that coming into the relationship, okay? This is something I want y'all brothers to seriously think about when you enter these kind of situations. Because fact of the matter is, most women, by the time they're 30, whether they're married or not, they do have a child from an outside relationship. So that is not faux pas. That is actually like par for the course. But as a man, you have to take into account these kind of things. And if a woman has one child, fine, that's okay. When a woman has multiple children by multiple men, that is a serious sign of issue because that means either she or the man has not taken into account the magnitude of bringing a child forth into the world and what that's going to mean long term. This is why I tell your brothers, you need to speak to your daughters and tell them to marry before they carry, to think about the man they are procreating with, because the fact of the matter is newsflash, whether we like it or not, men do not have interest in raising other men's children. That's just truth. A lot of men don't want to say that. A lot of men don't want to reveal that because they want things to work out with the woman they're with. And a lot of men will step to the plate, but that is not the desire of most men. Most men want to raise their own tribe. They want to have an all Harper clan, an all Williams clan. They don't, if you even look at wildlife, when a lion conquers a pride, he kills the cubs. And he takes the woman and makes all new children. We too, although we are not wild animals, we have animal instincts. And we do as men, and for women out there that don't believe this, ask men. We as men would like to have our own nuclear family, period. That is the desire of most women and men, I think. And we need to get back to that so we can keep the nuclear family together. To the brothers out there who are not in these predicaments, I would give the advice that if you do not have children, I would say do not date women with children. If you do have children, that's fine. That way there's some kind of balance. But the difference between a man having children and a woman having children is the child is going to go with the mother 99% of the time. So therefore, if you are with a woman with a child and you decide you're going to move in together or have a serious relationship, that child is going to be a part of your life. It is a package deal. You hear many women tell you, hey, I want somebody to love my child the same way they love their own. They're being serious. OK, but for you, you have to understand that, brother, a woman is not going to release the power of her child uh, quickly. She's going to keep the child. The man is most likely going to have weekends, maybe one or two weekends a month. Brothers, we need to change that. If your child is in an environment that is dysfunctional, where there is stress, where there is trauma, you as a man, if you are on your P's and Q's and you got your life together, you should fight for your child. You should fight to pull your son or daughter out of that home and raise that child on your own. A lot of us are scared to do that. A lot of black men want to sit there and say, hey, I want my time to go to the club and be out and do my thing. Brother, nothing should come before your seed. So for the brothers out there who have made this mistake and are dealing with a woman who is dysfunctional, you should do everything in your power to take custody of your child. That is my opinion. Not to mention, if you are in a relationship with a woman that's this dysfunctional, you need to leave the relationship. The reason I say that is because we as men and women do not need to have our children seeing relationships that are so dysfunctional that the child grows up thinking that's the way things are supposed to be. I'd rather the child be being loved on separate sides of town than the child is in the home with the mother and father and they're throwing blows, cursing each other out, calling each other everything but a child of God. That's not a good idea or a good environment for the child either. So I understand how relationships don't always work, but we as men need to be able to discern the difference between a woman we think is going to be a good mother, a functional parent, and somebody who's going to be a responsible, loving, caring person. And if you see red flags that she's not going to be, or you see she already has a child that she's not treating right, then that should be the ticket for you to get the hell out of there. And this brother thought with his penis and not with his mind.
It's very obvious. But I tell y'all, brothers, you should take lessons from this, okay? Because there's two kinds of ways you learn. You learn by example or you learn by a tragic lesson. This brother is a tragic lesson. To the brothers out there who are not in these predicaments, I would give the advice that if you do not have children, I would say do not date women with children. If you do have children, that's fine. That way, there's some kind of balance. But the difference between a man having children and a woman having children is the child is going to go with the mother 99% of the time. So therefore, if you are with a woman with a child and you decide you're going to move in together or have a serious relationship, that child is going to be a part of your life. It is a package deal. You hear many women tell you, hey, I want somebody to love my child the same way they love their own. They're being serious, okay? But for you, you have to understand that, brother, a woman is not going to release the power of her child uh, quickly. She's going to keep the child. The man is most likely going to have weekends, maybe one or two weekends a month. Brothers, we need to change that. If your child is in an environment that is dysfunctional, where there is stress, where there is trauma, you as a man, if you are on your P's and Q's and you got your life together, you should fight for your child. You should fight to pull your son or daughter out of that home and raise that child on your own. A lot of us are scared to do that. A lot of black men want to sit there and say, hey, I want my time to go to the club and be out and do my thing. Brother, nothing should come before your seed. So for the brothers out there who have made this mistake and are dealing with a woman who is dysfunctional, you should do everything in your power to take custody of your child. That is my opinion. Not to mention, if you are in a relationship with a woman that's this dysfunctional, you need to leave the relationship. The reason I say that is because we as men and women do not need to have our children seeing relationships that are so dysfunctional that the child grows up thinking that's the way things are supposed to be. I'd rather the child be being loved on separate sides of town than the child is in the home with the mother and father and they're throwing blows, cursing each other out, calling each other everything but a child of God. That's not a good idea or good environment for the child either. So I understand how relationships don't always work. But we as men need to be able to discern the difference between a woman we think is going to be a good mother, a functional parent, and somebody who's going to be a responsible, loving, caring person. And if you see red flags that she's not going to be, or you see she already has a child that she's not treating right, then that should be the ticket for you to get the hell out of there. And this brother thought with his penis and not with his mind. It's very obvious. But I tell y'all, brothers, you should take lessons from this, okay? Because there's two kinds of ways you learn. You learn by example or you learn by a tragic lesson. This brother is a tragic lesson. Brothers, I'm going to close the same way I opened by telling you and prefacing that this is not a reflection of all women. This is not even a reflection of most women. But brother, you have to be aware of the red flags out there and prevent yourself from getting into situations like this one. We as men have to be responsible for where we are laying our penis and who we are dealing with. And if you're dealing with somebody who is living this chaotically, you should be aware from the jump and stay away from it. Stop playing Russian roulette with your penis. Stop running around having unprotected sex with women you don't care about. And stop putting yourself in situations that can be a detriment to your life. So brothers, with that being said, please continue to support the channel if you love the content. We don't keep putting up good videos, but this is one I had to address. This brother, I like I said, I sympathize, but I do not empathize. We as men need to be more responsible and we need to take care of ours, first and foremost, okay? With that being said, brothers, thank you as always for watching the channel and the content. Continue to follow on the like and the share and comment. And let me know what you think. Do you think this brother was out of order for taking care of his own, but not necessarily giving stuff to every other child that wasn't his biologically? Obviously, he was not with the woman. So that was a totally different scenario. And I had no problem with what he did. And I did have a problem with the way the sister responded. But that being said, brothers, please continue to support. Please watch the profile, watch the channel, comment, like, share, give me feedback. And remember, most of all, that the black man can. And if you ain't know, you better ask somebody. Till we meet again, brothers, be safe and take care of yourselves.